Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I figured I'll review yet another low budget, fairly obscured film. It's a road trip movie titled Best Friends. So, yeah, one of these adventure movies. Yeah, I don't review these type of movies that often, come to think about it. Not really. But, it's obscure, it's, it's old, like I said, fairly low budget, so, yeah. I guess it belongs in the rarities collection, I guess, of movies. So I just figured, meh, good enough reason to talk about it. So again, it's titled Best Friends, and also, it's been on my to-do list for quite some time. So, yes, I have some others to talk about that. Yeah, at times it takes me forever and ever and ever to get to certain movies. Just throwing that out there. But anyway, yeah, Best Friends. That's the film I'm going to be talking about. So, of course, as usual, let's talk about it, shall we? So here we go. Yeah, there is this, uh, I guess you can say, mature staple individual named Jess, and um, of course, there's also the nutty and impulsive uh, longtime best friend, Pat. Jess uh, also uh, has this caring fiance, Kate, and of course, Pat, Pat's uh, girl pal that joins up on this thing to uh, pretty much embark on this adventure. So, yeah, but of course, the thing is that the film does pretty much depict that there is this Vietnam War veteran who pretty much aims to restore his carefree youth by um, going along with his best friends and whatnot. So, yeah, there's, there's that. But yeah, it gets pretty wild, I guess you can say. That's kind of the idea here, the thing about it. So, yeah, if this sounds pretty offbeat, that's because it is. So, yeah, it's kind of, it maybe kind of weird because of that, but whatever. That's the style of the movie anyway, so I didn't really have an issue with that, like, whatsoever. So, yeah, the thing is that this may not be everybody's cup of tea, like, at all, really, because it doesn't exactly have the most explosions or a action-packed type story at all. At all. That's, if anything... It's quite the opposite of that. Yeah, it's not exactly the most action-packed type of a movie out there. So I'm just letting you know, folks. That's all. Yeah, it starts off pretty slow, I guess. And even when they finally go on this trip of theirs, it doesn't exactly pick up with, you know, a lot of shooting or whatever. And... Yeah, it might be a bit on a dull side because of that. Granted, that may be kind of the point of this, because it's supposed to make you feel like you're actually on a road trip. So, I guess, there you go. So you can feel like you're really interacting with the said characters in this film. And, uh, but, alright. You know, was that the intention of the filmmaker? Because if that was the intent, but there you go. You succeeded in doing what you wanted to do. So, hooray, I suppose. So, there you go. Pretty much. I guess that's the kind of tone you wanted to do for this kind of feature. So, alright. In other words, this movie is a really into the obscurity, I guess you would say. But, again, that's kind of why I wanted to do this. Anyway, and yes, by the way, before anyone asks, I did watch this at one of those drive-ins. What? I am a lot older th than what I appear to be. Again, I'm going to keep saying over and over again, I am over 100 years old, so yeah. I've been around the blog more than once, so there you go. Oh yeah. But yeah, I guess... Just trying to enjoy life is probably the theme of the movie, I guess you would say, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, obviously. All these friends do decide to embark on this, I guess you would say, this road trip that's kind of like a cost crunch country kind of a thing. Um, 
So yeah, of course there's gonna be some challenges they have to face when it comes to, I guess, going into adulthood. Of course, relationships between everyone become um, increasingly drained by this journey. Of course, so maybe Jesse may have a fling with somebody, then Pat attempts to do something to another character. Excuse me if I'm being a bit vague here, folks, because I don't want to spoil too much, really, like, at all. Because I rarely do it on this channel. But, yeah. The thing is that, um, of course, you're going to have some conflict. Anyway, because that's what, how stories work. You have to have some sort of conflict. Because, as I mentioned multiple times, as well, is that if there's no conflict, then there's no story. If there's no story, then there's no drama. And if there's no drama... Then, then there's no story like I'm saying. Then why should I care? Then why should I if there's why should I give a shit? Something needs to happen. Somebody needs to have some sort of conflict. And you know, you're getting older. You're not in your teens no more. You're in your twenties and whatnot. Life itself is starting to change. You start to realize that holy shit, you have your responsibilities and the type of friendships, the type of relationships you had back then. Up until now, you're like maybe 25 or whatever. It's not the same like it was way back then. So, yeah, a lot of things gonna it's going to feel, you know, new. So, you may attempt some things that you, you haven't done, like, never in your teens. Well, it's just to be expected. Uh, whether it's good or bad, maybe somewhere in the middle. Um, it's just up to you to decide to actually do that or not. So, you know, you have to take yourself accountable for some things, of course, for any mistakes you may have made and whatnot. So, yeah, that's that's the reality of it when you think about it. So there you go. But anyway, folks, uh, like I was saying, if you haven't seen this, so I guess check it out. I thought it was at least it was worth a watch. So, yeah, crazy movie. And, uh, but yeah. So, yeah, like I said, okay, don't expect this, like I was saying, don't expect this, like, one of those, to be one of those, like, Transformers, like, from Michael Bay type movie, or, like, those, uh, Fast and Furious movies. It's, it's not that. It's definitely not that. If anything, it's, like, the exact opposite of that. It's just throwing that out there, folks. So, well, the, the Fast and Furious movies are terrible anyway. I, I don't know, I know, like, Micah Bay either. Oh. Anyway, I'll give this an overall rating of a 7.0. I think it's a 7.0 out of 10 for me. And as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, later.